Welcome everybody, Goss here, and today we're going to learn about leaderboards. And currently the only thing I have in my world is this cube and a trigger that is within inside it. It's, I'm right here, yeah. So, what we're going to do is we're going to have a leaderboard, and any time the player enters this trigger, it's going to increase by one and display it on a leaderboard gizmo. So what we're going to need, we're, we're going to need our script gizmo we're gonna need a leaderboard world leaderboard gizmo let's make that a little bigger there we are so we can see it let's see is it good and there it is awesome so now we also need two more things so we're gonna have to go into our systems and we're gonna have to add a player persistent variable we're gonna call it test if I can get my keyboard there it is. Test, return, and create. So now we have a player persistent variable. We're going to go to leaderboards and we're going to create a new one. You can only have three. Oh, there we go. And we're going to also call this one test. And you can choose from descending or ascending. So basically, descending is your number one place will have the highest number and if ascending your number one place would have the lowest and we're going to keep descending and we'll create so now we should have a leaderboard and a player variable and that is all we need to do in here so let's open our script and we can leave the name as script one for now it doesn't really matter since it's only one script we know what it is we need to remove when world is started and we need to find the when trigger is entered by player event so let's go down collision events player event so when trigger is entered by player and we need to set our persistent variable so we're going to go to values and where it says set player persistent variable two we're going to drag that in and we're going to set the change me to our test player persistent variable that we created and we need to set this number so in order to do that we need to get our variable that we've created and then add to it. So we need to go over to operators and find the plus sign. We're gonna drag that in. So now we can add. Okay. So now we need to go to values, get player persistent variable for test of the player that entered the trigger. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add one. So we're gonna scroll down still in the values tab and we're going to find the number input and we're just going to change our number from zero to one so now every time the player enters that trigger test will get our player's test variable and add one to that for the player but that only sets the variable what we need to do now is we need to set the world leaderboard so again under value we have set world leaderboard score for player. We're going to drag that in. We're going to set change me to test. This is the leaderboard test, not the persistent variable test. And we're going to set that to player. And we're going to change this number to the get user persistent variable. Now, this is where order of operations is very important. We need to set the variable before we can set the world leaderboard or it'll, it will not update properly. I want to add a debug print just to be safe. And we're just going to display what our variable should be. So now we need to go down to our trigger. And we need to add the script script one so now this script is going to run on this trigger close that and we need to open our leaderboard gizmo and we need to tell it what leaderboard to track and we're going to go where it says leaderboard and we're going to set it to test and we could change the name so where it says leaderboard right here we can change that to um let's say test now we hit return and there it is and we can adjust how many entries are on a page we 
max of 10, minimum of 1. But I think 5 is a good number. And we can change the UI anchor style. So instead of being static, it could be billboard, which I believe it will follow the player. Yep. Okay. But I don't I don't I don't like that. We're gonna go back to static. So that was always fixed in this position. And of course you have your attributes, which is just your position, your rotation, which I'm gonna zero out the rotation quick because it is annoying when it's not zeroed out. Our position is fine, our scale is fine, our color is fine. I mean, we could change this to say whatever color you want. If I can get the three, there it is. And we'll just change that to say a zero and now it's blue. We don't need to worry about a tag and we don't need to attach any script to this for this to work. So now as it's set up, we sh it should increase, there it is, increase by one when I pass my hand through the trigger. And there it is. Let me do it again. My hand tracking must be getting a little bad. So now it's two and we can keep doing this over and over and over again. And it'll just keep going up. Now, since it's a persistent player variable, I could leave the world and come back into the world, and that number will still be five. If I use a local variable, when I left the world, it would be erased, and it would be zero when I returned. And that might be desirable, and it might not be. So if you wanted to continue to increase every time the player returns, use a persistent variable. And just as a refresher, what we're doing here is we are, we have a trigger. We have this script attached to the trigger. And what we're doing is when the trigger is entered by the player, we are setting our test variable to the value of the variable plus one for that player. And then we are setting the test leaderboard for this player to that variable that we just set. And then of course we're debugging and all that does is display what the, the number is. And that is it for the world leaderboard tutorial. Thank you for watching and I hope this helps. Have a good one.